Hi everybody, this is Randy Suits with a letter and a song. Our letter for 25 or 26 January is My Rainbow After the Flood. My darling Kohana Eve, the day of the great flood when Noah and his wife, their three sons and their wives enter the ark and God sealed them in the antediluvian world was not afraid of the wrath of an angry God. They scoffed and joked at Noah during the 100 years it took to build the ark, to construct a massive boat in the middle of a great plain far from the nearest body of water capable of floating a vessel of that size was lunatic in the judgment of a wicked, pride-filled, lustful people. All the time he was preaching the impending doom, no other man on earth sought the mind of God, choosing instead the deception of the devil and their own faithless and doubtful mind. God was faithful in those 100 years to allow adequate time for repentance. But at last, the grace of God changed to judgment when the sin of man reached the point of no return. Only God knows that moment when the mold is flawed beyond repair. It grieved God that he had created man, for his every thought was evil. But scripture tells us that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. This means that God saw hope in this one man and his family. So rather than to destroy the good with the wicked, the Lord God devised a plan to save the one man who loved him and obeyed and served him faithfully through the ridicule of an ungodly world. See how God loves those who love him. After the waters of the flood receded from the earth, God, in his grace, repented of the judgment of the world by water and promised never to destroy it again by water. Then he put a rainbow in the cloud as a sign of his covenant with mankind. The bow in the cloud symbolizes his son Jesus Christ in the heart of God's people. It is written that he shall return in a great cloud of witnesses, a cloud meaning many, in 10,000 saints to shine, because their testimony shall be showers of blessing to a lost and dying world. He is teaching us that we may teach, lead, and guide others with our example, works, and faith. In much the same manner, God brought us together after a flood of misfortune in our lives. I was disoriented, and he brought us together to work in each of us to bring us, as one and individually, a closer walk with him. Let us continue to trust and obey him as we search his holy word for truths, which he reveals to all who seek him with their whole heart. In my own life, you have been my rainbow after the flood of tears and disappointment with my life apart from God, in Jesus Christ our Lord. All glory and praise and honor to God's holy name, yours in Christ, your Kohane. And so we see the things that as much as God loves the people of the world, and he even loves the sinners, uh, doesn't love the devil who inspires them and leads them, but it uh, it uh, pains him uh, that the the evil, uh, the wicked ones are going to suffer uh, and perish. It was not God's intention for it to be that way. And so now let's uh, let's do a song. Uh, one of the best. Uh, Christian songs, I think, was ever written. Because uh, how true it is to life. Jesus said, uh, 
you can't count the hairs on your head, and that uh, the Heavenly Father knows even when a, far, a sparrow falls to the ground. So this is his eye is on the sparrow. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is he, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. For his eyes on the sparrow, and I know. Let not your heart be troubled. His tender word I hear, and resting on his goodness, I lose my doubt. Go by the path he leadeth, but one step I may see his eyes on the sparrow, and I know. His eyes on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm his eyes on the sparrow, yes, and I know he watches me. Whenever I am tempted, whenever When songs give place to sighing, when hope within me dies, I draw the closer to him from care he said. His eyes on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. 
his eyes on the sparrow hills, and I know he watches me. What comfort in that song. There have been several times in my life when I had to go to the Lord and uh, one of the most recent ones is the loss of my dear daughter. And you know, uh, there are times in great moments of great loss that we truly need him. But we don't understand, but we do have to know that, that God, he knows the end from the beginning. And he's got the best in store for those whom we love. You know, I love the Lord today. And I love all my brothers and sisters in Christ. I even lie, I love the sinful world, but I sure do hate their master. And I hate their master, even the devil, with perfect hatred. You know, perfect hatred is hating anything or any being that hates God or that God hates. And so that is perfect hatred. Most hatred's unacceptable. But it's okay to hate those things that God hates. And, uh, of course, death is one of them. And now, my dear friends, may the Lord, even the Most High God, be with you in all that you think, say, do, and are. The Lord be with you. Thank you for being in God willing. We'll see you again soon.